Today we're going to be going over all the Air Jordan releases set to drop this month in March. And I'm excited because some of these releases are going to be some of the best of the year. So let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. And that is the Am Amon Year Air Jordan 12. These are going to be coming in two different colorways and it's going to be a women's release when it comes to the sizing. But they should have extended sizes so the men with bigger feet like you and I size 13, 14. For sure. I think we should have a chance to get these. I'm not 100% sure. And I think I also heard maybe the black pair is like the more extended sizes the white pair is like you can't get the extended size right, so we might right. just get stuck with these but either way two fire shoes great materials with the leathers the suede and everything got, like that not a bad thing to get stuck with though. yeah <laughs> <laughs> like get stuck with these like, eh, i'll take that so what do you think about these when it comes to the white and the black colorway and the materials i'm telling you are so nice like, no I, really you know job. this this shoe can't go wrong i think it's a great looking shoe this shouldn't sit long i no. think they'll do good i think they'll go up in value in time and uh, I would rush out and go get this shoe. Definitely immediate you cop. Know, both they, of them. They just yeah. did the uh, drop on the Am Am Year website mm -hmm. the other day. Uh, and then they should be coming on sneakers app and different stuff like that early in the month. So these are supposed to be dropping on the second. There's going to be a lot of anticipation behind it. It's going to be one of those shoes that's like, oh, it's not the best sneaker of the year, but it's going to be in that conversation of like, this was a dope ass shoe that came yeah, out. Yeah, but it's going to be one you got to cop. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it's always going to be like, you got a whole year of shoe. Yeah. So, so for sure, top a, 10 is a hard, great but... addition to the collection yeah. type sneaker for sure. Yeah. Um, so immediate cop for both of us. Yeah, Next definitely. up right here. We have the Zoom Comfort Air Jordan 1. I can't tell if this is a women's or men's colorway in particular, but these are way more comfortable than your normal pair of Air Jordan 1s. Mm -hmm. They put a Zoom Air unit on the bottom, on the whole bottom of the foot, and then the materials are a little bit different on the upper, giving a little bit more flexibility to make the shoe a little bit more comfy. Right. And that's why it's the Zoom Comfort. You see the Zoom Air on the tongue. Right, right. But at the same time, the colorway is not doing for me. I'm not really feeling it. That's what I was thinking. Cause I'm like, this is a hard one, hard to match up with clothes, whatever you're gonna wear. And it'd probably be great in the girls. Mm -hmm. Like the girls be able to rock them in a lot of stuff. Yep. It's not a bad looking shoe, but I'll stick with like a six or something. It's cool. Just because it's, I think, you know, yeah, I think it's, it's these cool. will come out. If you want to get them, you can They'll get them. They'll sit a little bit. They'll they ain't going to go up in yeah. value much. Retail's 150 bucks. I think a lot of people would rather spend their 150 on something else though yeah. at the same time. But we'll still 150, another. not too bad. But at the same time, it's like you throw 20 or 30 more bucks and now you're you get something like, nice. That's something different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. sometimes it's better to sit back, hold off for a second, save up mm -hmm. a couple more bucks and then go get that other shoe right, type thing. Right, right. So I think this one is a women's drop too. I'm not 100% sure. I think it was, but I don't remember. The Jordan 14, what do they call these? The metallic silver. So it's kind of like, like a patent leather, but not really type, just right. shiny right. silver Jordan 14. And this isn't the high top version either. It's like the mid top version. What do you think about these? So here's what I'm gonna say. They fired me. <laughs> <laughs> like I would rock this shoe. Like this is a good looking shoe. If it came out in dude sizes, you know, I think it's a good looking shoe. It'll give you that pop when you're out, you know, going to yeah. do something. Easy to match up with clothes. Yep. You can kind of wear any color with them and you'd be all right. I think this I is... think this shoe is going to hit. Unfortunately, the only thing I will say is... It's going to sit though. A lot of people don't like 14s. Yeah, it's, it's going to sit. They, 14 struggle for some reason. There's only a few, a few colorways that people go, oh, I got to have that. Right, right. But it's very few. Yeah. So this one in particular for you. So I, <laughs> I just looked it up on sneakers app right here. These are dropping on the third. Uh, it is a women's release. Right. And the biggest size is a size 12 in women. So that's a uh, 10. So we would never get that. So we, we can never, never even get, get the shoe if we want it. But either way, you really like these. Yeah. Hey, hey. y'all were there. Jordan Brown, y'all need to rock these and bring them out to the men's colors. Size 14. It's like, going to be huge. It's, it's going to be like. Silver surfers ah, out there. It's going to be like a Fiat or oh something. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> driving around in the Prius. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one right here. The UNC, now this isn't the PE, but it's the GR release. You know how they got the patch on the back, like your Michigan yeah. fives that you got. Yeah. We both got the yeah. those and the, and the uh, Oregon fives with the patch I'm on the back. I'm excited about these. This right one's here. fire. I'm excited so this about is this. the too. UNC college team edition, but without right. technically being a PE. It's going to drop the price by 2,500. Yeah, but it's going to be fire. So. But it's still fire. So what do you rate these out of 10? Oh, those are the 10 for sure. Like that right there, the colorway is clean. <laughs> the shoe is clean. The, but look. Even look like the materials look good. Yeah, no. It's like a nice that looked shoe. like a good shoe. I've seen this shoe in person. Now I'm looking online right here. It says 220, 225 is a retail. That's worth it. It is going to go to 500 like this. Yeah, I can see that. I think, I, I don't that. think this is going to sit like the DJ Khaled's. Like <laughs> these are better than, damn. Yeah, low key. 
These are better than the Khaleds. That's what I'm saying. These are better than the Khaleds. That's just our opinion. Everybody else can do what they want to do. But look at the sock liner, everything. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is a very nice shoe. <laughs> Definitely a cop. So I'm assuming you want to get these in your collection. Oh, for sure. Anybody out sure. there with a size 14? Anybody <laughs> with a size 14, see you, boy. <laughs> okay, so this next one is not on. Normally we do Jordans. This is the first time I'm switching up. I got to talk about this shoe for the month's release just because. What is this? It's just because <laughs> uh, it's a uh, considered to be one of the best collaborations of the year and people think that it's going to be the most hype well, if you're shoe, talking about i really got to see this because i'm why, worried i'm this, worried this now did you change I'm, up on me no did you no. change up on me i just want to see what you think okay so these are the tiffany air force ones it's a collaboration you know oh, tiffany okay. and co right, right so right. these are the tiffany air force ones right here no them is clean and if you look at the shoe you can see it's an all black really nice suede it's got like the yeah. silver on the back end with the tiffany logo but that's my shoe like that's what i rock it's got the colored block yeah. the box and then you got all these different elements to the sneaker with the stitching so didn't they come like out that. with those in a pink for the women um what was on this one i don't think so what was the shoe that came out with the tiffany i thought it came out with another one with like in pink or something maybe i'm wrong what? i'll try to find some better pictures for you yeah. all right, right here so you see that yeah. right there you got a premium nice leather yeah uh, even a swoosh everything swoosh everything like that the yeah. suede's are nice the problem for me is like it's just very basic still it's and it's still not a problem one. it's not a problem that it's basic because it's a clean shoe right but for me to gas it up and say this is the best release of the year and all that different it's stuff, not it just doesn't make sense to me no doesn't make sense at all. I, I give it a strong eight because of I'm an Air Force One dude. But if you're not an Air Force One dude, right. people gonna be like a six. Right. Speaking of that, we're at SneakerCon. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we're at SneakerCon. If you guys haven't seen that oh video, my God. make sure you guys go check out the video. Oh uh, my we were God. looking at the tables and everything like that, and he was trying to find a pair of shoes, and my boy Richie <laughs> hooked it up over here. We got the shoes. <laughs> Shout out to Richie at Tribute. Go ahead, show him what you got. Oh my so, God. We were looking for, we oh. saw like a size 10 on the table or something oh. like that. And I was like, I know one person that has a 14. We found a I used pair. No, but clean. look, no, we searched for a minute trying yeah. to find some shoes yeah. of my size. We it wasn't just like real quick where we got the shoes. The struggle so, was. No. This is your and first pair of off-whites too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I hey. think it is. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm a 14, so y'all forgive the size. <laughs> this is grown man over here. <laughs> <laughs> No, when I seen these, I was like, oh my God, those are sick. <laughs> those real, I told him, I said, that's the only shoe out of everything I've seen in here that I would want. Yeah. Like, I would really <laughs> want this shoe. I was like, shoe. just so happy when you said that. I was like, I know this, somebody that has a Oh pair. my, if y'all ain't got nothing in your collection, you better catch up. Hey, shout out to Richie Lee, <laughs> shout out to Tribute. For sure. Take care of us, man. Man, I appreciate y'all, man, for everything. Cause <laughs> man, oh my God, I'm so happy. Y'all don't even know what we went through. It. <laughs> oh, make sure y'all just watch the video that okay. I posted. Like we gotta yesterday. move back to what we were talking yeah, about. But we're, so we're getting off topic with these Air Force Ones and everything. Either way, the UNC. <laughs> I think the UNC Five is better than the Tiffany Air Force One when it comes to the shoe just popping, especially with oh, the talking, type of colors. Okay, I'm back. I'm, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, where with we at? these type of colors, right? Yeah, right. the Tiffany blue compared to the UNC blue, everything mm -hmm. like that. But for me, I'm like being a Jordan guy. I'm like these. These UNC fives are fire. Like no, those I like UNC those UNC fives, fives more than I like the Tiffany Air Force One. Oh, for sure. For and sure. retail on the Tiffany Air Force One is four hundred bucks. Oh hell no! And I mean, then, excuse me. <laughs> no. <laughs> and they're already no. going for like twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, seventeen hundred. Whoever. Because it's selling. the collab with them. Yeah, yeah. But that right there. Yeah. That UNC so, five right there is real nice. Yeah. So that's kind of what got us off topic, and that's what was a good way to introduce you getting the shoes oh and everything for the hookup and all the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Uh, what else we got right here? Okay. So what is this? They cut. What is this? The Tiki Leaf uh, Air Jordan One Mid. All right. First off, I'm gonna just. <laughs> Before I go in on this shoe, these are terrible. <laughs> nah, but don't let me go in on this shoe. <laughs> okay, you got the suede, you got the leather, you got the stitch, you got all the embroidery, and all that stuff is nice and that's cool and all. But, but why do they do this? These ain't the ones. Why do they do this? See, well, this I mean, is, technically there are ones, but but the problem is, you need to stay basic, clean, everything. Yeah. They're trying to do too much, introduce all this crap, and it's like, come on, man. The shoes, <laughs> it's, like, it's, come on, it's, man. it's clean already. You want to give it all this stuff? <sighs> What'd you say it's going for? 135? 135 is the retail. Okay, do 99. They're going to go on sale for sure. 
They're going to $99 and they're going to sit. I don't think, yeah, it's it's just not a good shoe. It's like know? that shoe I sent you in the video from the beach. Yeah, it's just <laughs> not a good shoe. That's all no. I can say. It's not fair to the Jordan 1. I mean, hey, and at the end of the day, again, buy what you like. If you like the shoe, buy it. Like, I don't have a problem with I it. I bet that more people dislike that shoe than like that shoe. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I think I could double that one right there. <laughs> right. He's like, I won't hit on that right, one. Right, let me get that one because I'm going to take that one in too. Those is, ooh. Okay, so is this, this is the shoe we own now? Yeah, so Air Jordan 2 Low. These are called UNC to Chicago. So they did a two little hits right here. They put the UNC on the back end with the, the UNC blue here and then the bottom. And then they did the Chicago vibe with the front end around the tongue and on the middle of the foot. These are clean. The leather looks really nice. This looks like a dope shoe. So this is what I'm going to say. A lot of people don't like twos, mm -hmm. right? They really don't. Mm -hmm. But if you don't like twos and you don't like this shoe in a two, you will never like twos. This is one of the best shoes that they did in a two for me in a low and everything. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a clean they look. They're clean. They're so clean. if you don't like, you will never like twos if you don't even like these. That, so, okay. That's just me. The only thing I can say is the, the thing that could potentially push me away from not wanting to have this shoe is once I try it on, I have to see what it looks like because the twos are a little bit more bulky than the Jordan 1 yeah, low. Yeah. So because it's a white shoe, it looks even bigger. Yeah. And when I put the shoe on, depending on the type of fit with the pants and everything like that. You can't wear no skinny jeans. No. <laughs> but it's going to change the whole look of the shoe, right? right? So I think that's the only thing. But I have a strong feeling I like to wear twos. I know that already. Yeah. So I have a strong feeling I would still like this shoe. But I was going to say, twos are still comfortable though. Yeah, no, for sure. It's a comfortable shoe. Highly slept on shoe. Highly nah, slept on shoe. That's a great cop. I think that's a great cop right there. And yeah. I think it's a um, I don't think that should be an easy cop. Long. I think it should yeah. be an easy cop too. Yeah. Okay, so this one is the ice blue Air Jordan 1 low. That's so clean. This is a clean shoe. But it's, it don't get me excited. It don't get me excited either, just because mainly everybody wants the UNC OG one. You're right. Low, right? That look like Not a like the lighter blue. color. Yeah. And then also it's the retro cut, not the OG cut. So the mm -hmm. tongue is longer, the height, the width around the uh, middle of the ankle area, right. those different things change the, the fit of the shoe, the look yeah. of the shoe, all those different things. So I think people that want affordable option that, you know, if you can't get the other one, you know, cause the other what one might be like six, 700 bucks. These ones retail is a hundred and something dollars. What is it? $110. Oh, that's cool. So it's like, oh, great pickup, that's, easy cop, yeah. great summertime yeah. shoe. It makes sense. So it makes sense. But I, I, think I still, I'm shoe. not gonna rush out to get that no. shoe. Not at all. What would you rate those out of 10? Six. Six. Okay. I'm not going to rush it. I'm not mad shoe. at that. I'm not mad at that. It's a, a solid it's, shoe. It's, it's cool. But if I seen you, I ain't going to knock you because you got them on. Right. You know? Right. Okay. You got some on. But So next up right here is going to be my opinion. One of the greatest releases of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all hear this? Yeah. Where this are we going one, with this? This is one of the greatest releases <laughs> of the year. They're bringing back. The white cement Jordan 3s, the ones he dunked from the free throw line. Yeah. They got the OG vibe. Some people don't like the vintage. Again, if you guys want to see the review, make sure you guys check out the links down below in the description because I've done a full comprehensive review of this sneaker, giving you guys all the details. But they brought back the OG cut, the OG materials. They got the Nike Air back. This is like the best version recreated of the retro since the OG. And that's what you think? No, it's a fact. Okay. I get, I got the comparisons. Trust okay. me, I'm telling you. Okay, this is not gonna be in the top ten what? of the year. What? This shoe is not. By the end of the year, this shoe will not be in the top ten of the shoes. <laughs> I'm telling you this. I know. I'm old school. Hey, clip that. Clip that, please. In the top ten shoe of the year. This shoe will not be in there. It might be like twelve to thirteen by the end of the year, but this is not gonna be in there. Top ten? No, it's not gonna be in there. You don't want these? No, I didn't say that. But I will say this. I wouldn't rush out to get them. What? They're good looking shoe. We literally just had 30 pairs at our booth at SneakerCon. They sold pretty quick. <laughs> They're all sold. They, they sold pretty quick in like three hours or so. <laughs> but but I ain't on the same vibe as everybody else. It's a clean shoe. No, but, you but, need to rush out and get them because if you don't, you're gonna be paying that high price. No, I think I think it would be best to wait because I think they're gonna lose the hype like halfway in. And then, and then you can get them cheaper. Do you know what this shoe is right here? In some people's, it's a grail, but I'm just telling you, I think it's gonna go down and it's gonna go up and it's gonna go back down. Let me know. <laughs> let me know down below in the comment section. Did this shoe in particular revive Jordan brand and give it life 
and bring their brand to a whole nother level which caused then the sequence of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dropping. Was this the shoe that was the catalyst that changed the game for a Jordan brand? Because people didn't even remember about the Jordan 2 back in the day. Right. I mean, let's just be serious. Right. This shoe right here. No! This one right here. <laughs> this one right here. This one right here. No, I think it's gonna do good. I think it's gonna go up in value, and I think it's gonna drop. So, all right, let's go up and drop. Let me see some exact, let me get some numbers. Let I think you're gonna get it at, say, what you said, it's coming out like 200 or something, 225? Yeah, 225, I think. So they come out with 225, it's gonna go instantly to 500. Okay. And then I think before the end of the year, it's gonna be down to like 350. 350, okay. Well, By the end of the year. We'll see what happens. And that's still more than the retail. It is, but it's gonna go up and down. Oh. I think I think out there, you know, because some of them shoes do that. They do I that rush. That. I see that. I see and that. And everybody rushes. Every, every shoe does that. It's high when it's announced. It releases. It goes down a little bit, but it's still way higher. Shoots up and then it drops. I, I get that. And then good. over time, years later, it goes up like that, right? But it's gonna take a while, like four years or five years. Oh my gosh. I don't think so. It's a good looking shoe. Hey, all I'm saying is, buy what you like at the end of the day. But if you like this shoe and if you love this shoe, get multiple pairs. Trust me. You will be a happy camper. That's all I can say. You're gonna be. Sitting... And if you see a size 14, talk to you, boy. Oh my! <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I don't want to miss out either. I can't wait to see the brand. Was... Not in the top ten. No, it's not. That's gonna be top crazy. 10. No, that's crazy. That's crazy. But the cements do well. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. So this one right here, what is this? Oh, the Skyline Air Jordan 1. So, you know, you had the, I'm pretty sure this is based off of the retro car, or not the retro car, but the poster when Jordan was dunking. Remember oh, I had yeah, like yeah, the Skyline, the and it was like the gradient yeah, yeah. and everything. So they put that on the shoe to match that same vibe. It's kind of like a canvas with a leather and everything. I saw these in person at All-Star Weekend. They looked clean. And it's dope because the elements it's are all different. canvas yeah but it's the elements are different so the left foot is like orange on the front and then the right foot that. is like blue I on the front that. so it's kind of dope yeah yeah see here's a picture right here so this is where Keep they got the original the colorway from. and do not do that to the shoe I it looks like a rainbow i think these we are, don't want the rainbow i think these i'm are just clean. saying no i think these are clean trust me when you those are gonna person, sit he don't like the j balvin's either you're gonna sit hold on let me get this thing back in focus <laughs> He don't like the J Balvin's either, so. <clears throat> Those are gonna sit. Okay, they're gonna sit. We'll see yeah. what happens. Risk retail, 180 bucks. Those are gonna sit. All right, we're gonna see. In that colorway? We're gonna see. That's disrespectful to the Jordan brand to do that colorway. Why? <laughs> they literally did it on the, what was it, the 29s? They did it on the 29s already. Don't, don't repeat this. Okay, so this one right here. This is the, uh, it's a skateboarding collaboration right. with Nike or with Jordan brand. Right. So they've done this on the Jordan 1s in the past, but now they're doing it on the Jordan 4. And there's been a lot of anticipation behind this one. And this colorway is supposed to be the one that's coming out. And everybody's saying that these is just like must haves. The, Those being in the top 10. The thing that took it to ne the next level for me, <clears throat> I know for a fact the material is gonna be great because it's an SB collab. And then the second part, the gum bottom outsole on right. the Jordan 4. Right. The green, it hits perfect. The color blocking, fire. This is a nice shoe. What are they coming out at, 180 or something? Uh, nah, there's no way. They're gonna be, where's the, where's the price at? 225. Okay. This is a nice shoe. Oh, that's a clean shoe. It's got the SB collab with the Jordan yeah. on there. I think it'll do good. I think that one, that's a that's a hit. Don't don't try to pass that one so up. So these are better than it. the Man 3s? Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'll double down on that. Okay. What I can say is, <laughs> what I can say is, I could understand why people would think that. Yeah. I can understand why people would think that. But for me, I'm still going with the White Man 3 all day. I think Because I could wear the White Man 3 with more fits than I could wear with these. But I'll say this, watch at the end of the year, this one beat that shoe out. By oh, the end of we'll year. see. That one's going to be that one. Hey, the only reason why I can agree with you on that is because the Jordan 4 is the new hype shoe. It's the oh. new trending shoe. So all the kids on TikTok and all the other stuff, they they love the Jordan 4. They're raising the price because of it. Every single one comes out and sells out and the price is high. So because of that, yeah, it's easy to make that statement. People, that's all I'm get saying. what you want. Stop being a trend. I mean, stop following trends. Oh my God. Yep. It is what it is. It is what it is. But that in particular is a clean shoe. Again, I don't like all it's the It's a clean shoe. Don't get me wrong. That's okay. clean too. So the Melon Tint Air Jordan 2. 
This looks like a premium kind of sail lay, uh, leather on the upper. You got that kind of melon color. tint, yellow orangeish kind of color on the back end around the sock liner and everything. <clears throat> looks like a really nice shoe. It's gonna be a nice shoe, look summertime. comfortable, just like the other thing, but color is gonna be hard to I sell. I think it's like one of those summertime Miami vibe type yeah. shoes, you know what I'm saying? The color, that, that's gonna be hard to sell. So 150 bucks on those. You think they might sit? They're gonna sit. A lot of the low top twos, even the collaborations that have been like super dope drops, they've been sitting as well. Yeah. So definitely something to take note of. All right, we got a couple more shoes left real quick, but my battery's about to die, so we gotta change that out real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. What we got next? Oh yeah, good thing we got a good full battery for this one because we're gonna have uh -oh. a good talk right here. Uh -oh. The Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low, the olive colorway, white, black, you like the all black with the white stitch. I'd take the all black over this all day. So remember you saw the other, what was that? Three, four versions? There were four versions that oh, I showed you? Yeah, you had too many. Yeah, yeah, it was four different versions. Yeah. We did the comparison. Everybody's like, you gotta wait to do this. I'm like, we'll do another video, it's fine. Right. But uh, out of those four and then these ones, what do you think about these? These are last place. Last place. Worse than the reverse mocha is worse than the other ones? Yeah, I'll take these last place. Damn, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> now, what I can what? say is, what I can say is, these are definitely not in the top three for me either. Right. So, I would be in the debate between fourth and fifth. Okay. I just don't know what place yet. I gotta okay. get them side by side, do my comparisons, do my little thing. But I don't know, I'm not, there's something, it seems to me, it seems like the swoosh is like too much now. Yeah. For the color, like yeah. it stands out too much. Yeah. And I don't like it to be like the main focus. I like it to kind of hide a little bit. I saw these in person. They are nice. You can't go wrong with that part. Like the, the shoe, the material. Right. Stuff. It's a nice shoe. They're going to give you a good product. And though. then obviously, yeah, it's going to come out and it's going to be $800, $700, $1,200, whatever the price is going to be. You know it's going to be expensive. So right, like, right. If right. you get the shoe, you're going to make some money or you're going to have a good little trade bait or whatever it is. But out of all the other ones. Last place. I don't know. I think, I think. Again, we talked about this before. We talked about this about doing too many collabs and searching yeah. for a product that like, oh, we got to do something else to it. Yep. And, and then and then they start falling off. And, they start and I don't want them to kill the brand by, by doing too much. Because you, you've also seen like each time they've done the Jordan 1 Low and the Travis Scott, it's been like slowly going down in value yep. for each yep. one that went to resale when it drops. So yeah, it's hard to compete with that first one and the second one. And it's like, all right, when you get to the fifth one, it's like, all right. But yeah, I mean, you only can see so many sequels. Yeah. You know, and yep. I, I think they're starting to do too much. And what I about think Fast and Furious? I watch all that. And I, yeah. <laughs> family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing but family. <laughs> but no, so that's all I'm saying. I think they're trying to do too much and yeah. I think it's too bold in, in that swoosh. And I will put it in last place. It's still a good looking shoe. Now this one you're gonna seven love. Seven and a half. You're gonna love these ones right here. I love these ones right here. Okay. This is a clean ass shoe. So if anybody know, you can't go wrong with these with us. The and Jordan 11 low. In the, in the gum bottom and uh, everything like the. So they call these cement grays. They kind of like the cool gray vibe. But this shoe is clean. This is a great summertime shoe. And I shoe. think this is a must have in yes. most people's collections. I think it shouldn't sit. I don't think it's gonna go up in value real crazy, but I think it'll just hold its value. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna sell out. I think certain sizes will sell out. It's nah, like it's the, gonna sell it's out. It's like the bigger sizes will sell out, but then it's gonna be available in some sizes. You're gonna be able to see those posts on the internet of like, oh, it's still sitting on shelves in stores in certain cities. And obviously like in I'll the more surprised. populated cities it's gonna sell out faster. But like, I think this is gonna be one of those shoes that's like fly under the radar, you get it for retail, you're happy, or you might be able to pay, you know, 20 bucks over, like nothing right. crazy. But I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens when the time comes. I think, like I said, I think it'll hold its value. I think it'll do good and I think it's gonna sell out and then it'll just, you won't be able to find it. But when you do, you'll get it. You'll that's be all right. Be, that's because you be loving them, them 11 lows. That's well, like, I do rock all that like, stuff, but here's what I'm saying. It's a clean, clean shoe it and is. it's a comfortable shoe. Yeah. And easy to wear with a multiple colors and definitely everything. Those two colors, yeah. you can wear anything. Yeah. Blue, red, black, whatever. For sure. So. So top five most popular releases out of this month. It's gonna be UNC fives, White Cement threes, Ahmad twelves, Travis Scotts, and then Tiffany's. We had to throw those in there too. Yeah. Those are gonna be some of the top five releases. No, people really want the Tiffany's. Uh, Remember the dude dropped a whole box of Tiffany's on the thing. Yep. Oh. <laughs> There's gonna be. There's gonna be a lot of demand behind those sneakers this month. So I think that's gonna be it. Let them know what you gotta say for the end and we can get out of here.
Oh god. I got my shoes! Oh my god! Hey, one time for the one time. Shout out Trivia. Shout out! Oh, feeling my life! Thanks to my son, I appreciate you. You know the connections and everything. Love, peace, hair grease. Hey, you guys keep watching the videos. Thanks for everybody coming up to us and getting the pictures with us. Uh, thank you again. Oh yeah, hey, Tom, we got a new song out too. Uh -oh. Make sure y'all listen to the song at the end of this video right here. New DNA show theme song. Uh -oh. Out on all streaming platforms. I'm, I'm a rapper now. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. <laughs> I would never let you down and send my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy and I'll see you guys over there. Oh, it's one of those. I would never let you down and send my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA. I was made for it. It's in the DNA. I was